Vagabond07, and this is No Man's Sky. Today, we'll be going over the Beyond update, what we know so far, speculate a little, and then discuss what the third pillar could be. As of yet, we know we will be receiving a massive update that will include VR. However, an announced part of this is a complete overhaul of ship cockpits and first-person view of Exocraft. This info comes to us from reports from a press hands-on session. Personally, this is a small detail that I'm really excited about. Each system gets randomly generated ships with some guidance from the system's economy and race. The procedural engine of No Man's Sky does a fantastic job of mixing and matching ship parts and then distributes the ships across the galaxy. It's hard to come across any two ships that are identical. However, one thing that always looks and feels the same are the ship cockpits. There's extremely limited field of view in first person cockpit mode. While it does the job and facilitates gameplay, you will never really get the feel of being in your ship. The press reported a greater field of view of the ship's wings and fuselage. It would be awesome to finally look out from my cockpit and see the ship's nose stretching out in front of me or the wings out to either side. Another small but important detail is that VR will be compatible with the PlayStation VR headset and controller, meaning that you won't have to use the PlayStation Mons and motion tracking camera. The second part of Beyond that has been announced is No Man's Sky Online. Now Hello Games has been very tight-lipped about this part, saying that will have many MMO features but never contain microtransactions. Will be the removal of sessions. Will sessions still be available, but anyone over the lobby limit be rendered in their full third-person avatar, removing the glowing orbs from the game entirely? Are we going to get guilds as part of No Man's Sky Online? We don't know. My prediction is that No Man's Sky Online similar features and functions of other major MMOs, and hopefully a return to community research. The last part everyone is speculating on is the third pillar. Many are anticipating an overhaul of base building and a snapping effect of base parts, or how base parts fit together during construction. While base building got a major overhaul with the next update, a constant conf complaint has been the snapping effect and how difficult it can be to get the pieces of your base to fit together the way you want them to. Another area that fans have been clamoring for is an overhaul of space combat. Space combat has been pretty simple and rudimentary, with no Newtonian physics introduced in the game. Hopefully, we might see an overhaul of space combat with Beyond. Another possibility is greater customization for characters, multi-tools, and ships. With the next update, we received the appearance modifier. You can change your appearance between the known races and those of the Traveler or the Anomaly. With the addition of community research and the Quicksilver item generator, even more character customization was made available. Many players have long begged for the ability to change ship's wings or color scheme. It's easy to find a ship that has a really great layout, but has a color scheme or appearance that is less than desirable. While all these additions have been great, No Man's Sky still lacks customization of GTA Online or other MMO or online games. Only time will tell, and with the release date of summer of 2019, we won't have to wait much longer. Thanks for watching, I'm Vagabond07, and I'll see you next time.